The film starts with Stan Minton discussing a property purchase with an elderly woman. They end up disagreeing because she feels it's too costly, particularly since it's in a less desirable area. Stan tries to persuade her, but suddenly, the police arrive at his office. They take Stan to the station, accusing him of deceiving the woman with a phony investment. To summarize, Stan goes to court. His initial lawyer, Maul, refuses to bribe the judge for leniency, so Stan dismisses him. He hires a new attorney, Poer, who has a dubious reputation. Poer convinces the judge to sentence Stan to three years in prison with six months on probation. Poer advises Stan to flee, but Stan can't because all his funds are frozen. Meanwhile, Mindy, Stan's wife, expresses a desire to have children, but Stan finds it too burdensome and declines her request. This upsets Mindy, and she decides to leave him. Overwhelmed by his troubles, Stan visits a bar where he pays a former convict to talk with him and share insights about life in prison. The ex-convict describes it as a dreadful environment, marked by bullying and mistreatment from fellow inmates, with little intervention from the guards. After Stan discovered the challenges of prison life, he attempted various methods to avoid being targeted. He considered using steroids to build strength and size, but this approach was unsuccessful. One day, feeling uninspired by the repetitive exercises at a karate dojo, he challenged another student to a fight. Unfortunately, Stan was quickly defeated and knocked down. Frustrated by this loss, he retaliated aggressively against the student, resulting in a serious altercation that led to his expulsion from the dojo. Later on, he encountered an elderly man outside the dojo who possessed incredible strength, capable of breaking a stone wall with a single punch. Stan approached him, requesting martial arts instruction with a promise to repay him later. He even brought the old man to his home and introduced him to Mindy as his master. Consequently, Stan and the master resided together for a period. However, Mindy began to feel uncomfortable due to the master's untidy habits and heavy smoking. During this period, Stan not only learned martial arts from the master but also adhered to a strict diet and disciplined routine to enhance his strength. Stan became deeply engrossed in his training, leading him to neglect Mindy, which left her feeling profoundly lonely. Eventually, she chose to depart because she believed Stan no longer cared for her. Stan attempted to persuade Mindy to stay, but she was determined to leave. Despite Mindy's departure, Stan continued his training with the master. He underwent rigorous exercises and significantly improved his martial arts skills. To celebrate his progress, he treated the master and Poer to a restaurant outing. During the meal, the master revealed to Stan that he was only the second student he had ever taught. The master expressed hope that Stan had never encountered his first student who had misused martial arts for nefarious purposes. After dinner, Stan decided to challenge Master Chu, the karate dojo owner who had previously expelled him. Surprisingly, Master Chu accepted the challenge, and they engaged in a fight. Thanks to the training he received from the master and his dedicated efforts, Stan demonstrated his skills and defeated Master Chu, boosting his confidence. Stan chooses to surrender himself to the police to begin serving his sentence. Accompanied by the master and Poer, Stan goes willingly, while Mindy watches from a distance with tears in her eyes. The scene shifts to a bus transporting numerous inmates to prison. Before reaching their destination, one inmate attempts to provoke Stan, but he swiftly asserts himself and warns the individual not to interfere with him. Upon arrival at the prison, Stan is assigned to a cell with an elderly man named Larry SCHC. Curious about the prison environment, Stan inquires from Larry about the dynamics and toughest inmates within the facility. While in the prison yard, Larry identifies various gangs to Stan, including the Black Gang led by Clean, the Mexicans Gang led by Janito, and the Nazi Gang led by Patterson. They also observe Big Raymond, notorious for bullying new arrivals like Robbie, who had recently entered with Stan. Because Big Raymond was considered the most formidable, Stan chooses to confront him in a fight. To everyone's surprise, Stan easily overcomes the imposing figure. Following this victory, Stan encounters further trouble with the Nazi and Black gangs. He challenges them to fights individually, and despite their attempts to team up against him, Stan triumphs over all of them single-handedly. Unbeknownst to them, Francis Gass, a prison warden, observes these events from his office 
and appears to have plans involving Stan. Stan's dominance over the gang leaders and Big Raymond instills fear in the other inmates. Robbie approaches Stan to express gratitude for his assistance. Stan is adjusting to life behind bars and crafting makeshift weapons to defend himself. One day, the prison warden, Gas, summons him to his office. Stan complies, and Gas entices him with cigars and whiskey. Gas reveals his intention to utilize the prison's valuable land for real estate development, believing Stan's knowledge of property matters could be valuable. He presents Stan with a tempting proposition, a reduced prison sentence and early parole in exchange for assistance. Unable to resist, Stan agrees to Gas's proposal. Later, in the prison restroom, Patterson attempts to attack Stan while he showers, but Stan successfully fends him off using one of his improvised self-defense tools. From then on, Stan begins to surveil the prison and its inmates discreetly. Every day, there are conflicts and minor uprisings occurring, which leads Stan to be in Gas's office reviewing property paperwork. Gas introduces him to a person named Dan, who is involved in real estate matters with him. While looking closely, Stan notices a tattoo on Dan's hand and deduces that he's associated with the Mafia. Stan talks to Gas about certain aspects of their agreement with Dan that he finds unjust. Upon hearing this, Dan perceives Stan as a threat to his lucrative plans for the real estate venture. The following day, Stan contacts Poer to inquire if his wife has initiated divorce proceedings, but Poer informs him that Mindy hasn't taken steps toward divorce yet. After this conversation, Dan and his associates confront Poer and assault him. Meanwhile, Stan yearns for his wife and decides to write her a letter. Mindy has returned home and is now residing with the master. After spending several months behind bars, Stan began to adjust to prison life. He became popular among fellow inmates and felt it was time for a change. Stan gathered everyone together and removed any weapons or aggressive items. He encouraged them to engage in enjoyable and positive activities. Stan made it clear that bullying and harassment would not be tolerated, and he even helped Big Raymond make a friend to prevent further harm to others. While eating in the cafeteria, Robbie and his friends approached Stan, inspired by his uplifting message. They expressed interest in joining Stan's group. Soon, many other inmates wanted to join too. Meanwhile, Larry delivered a letter from Mindy, expressing her desire to meet with Stan in prison. The letter indicates that over time, conditions in the prison improve due to Stan's encouragement. There's a noticeable absence of fighting or disorder, and the inmates are getting along. Finally, after a long absence, Stan reunites with Mindy, and they reconcile. As the prison becomes more peaceful, Gask grows concerned and urgently summons Stan to his office. Gask worries that the tranquil atmosphere in the prison could disrupt his plans. It turns out Gask had devised a scheme to sow chaos in the prison, prompting authorities to use lethal force against the inmates. This was part of his plan to convert the prison land into real estate. However, with Stan fostering peace among the inmates, Gask's scheme is now at risk of failure. The elderly man then warns Stan, urging him to instigate chaos again or face severe consequences from Ding. Stan discussed Gask's demand for turmoil with Poer, his attorney, seeking advice on the matter. Poer suggested Stan think carefully and possibly comply to secure an early release. After much deliberation, Stan reluctantly accepted the warden's request. Stan was aware of Gask's intention to cause trouble during the prison board inspection. Concerned for Larry's safety, Stan asked him to remain in their cell and avoid going to the yard. However, Larry detected a problem and notified the other prisoners, prompting them to strategize together. On the day of the prison board's visit, council members arrived for their routine inspection. The prison guards were equipped with tools to manage any potential trouble from the inmates. Meanwhile, Stan was attending a parole meeting with the prison council, as promised by Gask. However, at the last minute, Stan had a change of heart. He couldn't allow his fellow prisoners to be shot by the guards. Therefore, he deliberately delayed his own release and hurried back to prevent the chaos. As the prisoners move towards the yard, Deng confronts Stan and initiates a fight because Stan disrupted Deng and Gask's plans. It is revealed that Deng is the master's original student and possesses martial arts skills comparable to Stan's. They engage in a challenging battle, but ultimately, Stan prevails over Deng. Stan rushes to reach Gask and halt the chaos, 
but the prison guards intervene when he attempts to persuade the other prisoners to cease fighting. Meanwhile, the inmates in the yard execute the strategy devised with Larry. Instead of engaging in combat, they begin dancing together, preventing the guards from viewing their actions as a violation. Gask becomes extremely angry and seizes a gun from one of the guards, firing shots at the inmates right in front of the prison council who are present. Just as Gask is about to target Stan, Mindy intervenes unexpectedly. It turns out that his wife and the master secretly infiltrated the prison and discovered the chaos. Three years later, Stan is released from prison with the new administration in place. Meanwhile, Gask is incarcerated as an inmate and has fallen under the influence of Big Raymond. Poer, Stan's untrustworthy lawyer, is also now serving time as a new inmate. Mindy retrieves Stan from prison along with the master and their child, Mindy Jr. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Take care.